you know, those guys, they're learning and growing daily. The, the habits that they're putting in on the court that you, we get to see every day, now they're getting to show in games what, what great lessons. I thought they really responded after we challenged them at halftime. They really came out in the third quarter and really amped up the defense, and then the ball movement was terrific. It's really pleased. What has impressed you about the way Jordan has started this season? I mean, I've, I've talked about the defense for Jordan. It's, to me, it's like been the most impressive thing. Him getting in there, digging balls out, steals, being active. The offensive stuff, I know he can do that. And you know, obviously, he's been efficient. He carried us, kept us afloat in the first half, and that's what our, your 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 big guys have to do. They got to keep you when you're struggling, and we were struggling a little bit. He kept us in that game, made us a little push at that end of the quarter, gave us some life. So Jordan's been great. Yeah, I mean that's why we have him here. Like he's a, a steady presence for us. We can play through him offensively. He brings a sense of physicality, but it's the everyday stuff that he's teaching us how to prepare, how to be a winner, how to be a professional in this league. Um, he's been impressive. But thankful to have him here for us in our organization. Bilal, another career high. What can you say about the performances he's the, he's strung together in the early season? Uh, yeah, and we're, and we're putting him on the best matchups nightly. Um, Young was going to come out aggressive. We knew that. I thought he battled him in the second half pretty good after picking up some fouls. So these are learning things. He had three at the half, and he continued to play through that and didn't let that deter him from being doing the job. But he's been great. Um, like I said, we want to put the ball in his hands more. We've been doing that. We think he's a playmaker. He can get on the rim. He forces a lot of a lot of pressure. So he's he's been good. Where are the biggest improvements you see in his offensive game from last year that gave you the confidence to put him in these you know more uh, primary situations? Last year, one thing he could do really last year is he could get in the paint. Um, I didn't always always make the right play or finish it well. Now he's learned the nuances. He's added strength. Now he's finishing. He's getting on top of the rim. He's making plays for others. This is kind of how we envisioned him when we got him here. So firstly, I want to say congratulations. Obviously, it's uh, exciting to have two consecutive wins against a playoff team from last year in Atlanta. But I also want to say that I noticed that the rebounding was a little better, and I also appreciate. I also noticed the slower, more methodical offense that helped to set up the high percentage shots. Now, the question that I have. How do you think that, what do you think you could change to get this kind of results more consistently throughout the course of the season? Well, that's the goal for us. We're, we're trying to establish a way we want to play and habits that are going to lead to something that's sustainable. That was an example of how we wanted to play. Second half, really good defense, rebounding. First half wasn't as great. So we made an adjustment in the halftime. We're going to rebound. We're going to play with some pace. And then we just found the open man. That's how we want to play. Just kind of an open, keep the court spread and let's keep that ball movement and make the right play. And I, I thought we saw a lot of that. We ended up having, I think, 32 assists, seven guys in double figures, I believe. So pretty good. Career high tonight. Uh, what kind of looks were you seeing that enabled you to score more points than you've scored before? Uh, I mean, I had a lot of open looks. Like, first of all, my teammates found me well, like on the transition, uh, open three. So it made just my game going, you know, so it was pretty easy to get in. And you've talked multiple times about how you wanted to improve your ball handling coming into the year, and I think that's been evident thus far. Would that would you say that that's the biggest jump you've made is ball handling, or have you improved your outside shooting or your defense most since last season? Yeah, I say probably my ball handling got way better, so it just helped me to be better on court. Like it's way easier to play now. Uh, I still got to work on it, but uh, yeah, I feel like I'm way better. When you say your ball handling is better, what specifically about it is better? Is it tighter? Is it you know smoother? Like what, what do you think? Yeah, it's tighter. Like I can feel that I, con I control the ball every time. It's not far away from my body and everything. So uh, even uh, when I'm handling the pick and rolls and everything, I feel way more confident. I don't even need to look at the ball and everything. So, yeah. You set career highs in points twice this season now. What can you say about the success you've been having in the early season? I mean, uh, I'm just doing my things. Like, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do, uh, hitting open shots, uh, finding my teammates. They find me too. So it's just make the game easier. And then what can you say about your defense in the second half against Trey? He had a great first half. Second half, you were able to play a little bit more, and uh, he didn't do as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just came here yeah, locked in. I saw that he had a lot of points first half, so I was like, yeah, now it's time to turn it up. So going into this game, you are really improving. So can you talk about the offseason work that you put in and how that affected you during the Olympics <coughs> as well? Yeah, uh, even during the Olympics, I was uh, working out a lot because I was – not playing that much, so I had the time to work out. And, uh, yeah, so I really focused on my end low, like I, like I was saying, my catch and shoot and everything. So, yeah, uh, even after that, uh, I took a little, like, break, but got right back at it and uh, 
yeah, so it's like um, way better now. Um, Alex has had multiple blocks in every game so far to start his career. What can you say about his impact on defense? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he be saving us sometimes. We get <laughs> we get like passed every time, and he's just right behind to block the shot. So I'm really like happy for him. Uh, that's what I've been trying to tell him, like beginning of the year. Uh, just help us, you know. Sometimes um, you're gonna get drive by, so yeah, you gotta you gotta be there and uh, help us. And how big has uh, just the offense from Jordan Poole been, especially early in games? Insane, man. Uh, so happy for him. Uh, he's been putting in a lot of work this summer, too. Uh, so we, we had we called each other like so many times this summer. Uh, I'm just proud of him. You know, he deserves it. You said you called each other a lot this summer? Yeah, we went. Can even, you tell us he, about He that? was even in Paris at some point. We were going to like football games and everything, soccer games. And so, right. yeah. <laughs> So I, first off, I want to say congratulations, and I wanted to ask, what role do you think the defensive strategy, the ge defensive game plan played, especially towards the end of the game or the second half of the game? Can you ask that again? I'm sorry. What role do you think that the defensive strategy in particular played in the overall success in the second half of the game? Yeah, we made some change. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Even first half, like we had kind of the same things, but we were not like really executing the 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 what we were supposed to do. So, yeah, we came back second half was uh, really locked in. Like bigs were talking, uh, guards was really like in the shift spots and everything. So he just made the game easier for everybody defensively. All right, thank you. Mer merci. Mm -hmm. What can you t what can you say about the role that confidence has played in your early season? Uh, Man, I feel like it's the main thing. Like basketball is. For me, like probably 60% basketball skills and 40% confidence for uh, uh, I can tell you that right now because I'm really like confident right now and uh, I'm playing well. It's just like you just got to be locked in mentally, uh, talk whenever you got problems and everything, and it's just going to make the game way easier. What moments do you feel that increase confidence in? Uh, I mean, right now, just having good games definitely increase my confidence, but just like talking to my teammates, you know, they talk to me a lot. They, they tell me that they... They believe in me, my coaches too. So uh, I'm just like, man, everybody believes in me. I got to believe in myself. So uh, yeah, that's what like makes me believe in myself. What'd you think of uh, Corey's water bottle shower? <laughs> See, he he killed me right now. I got to get new braids right now. <laughs> Manchester City on the ball door. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see that. You gotta show me that. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm tripping. Yeah, 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 I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Hey. Nah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Yeah, oh. uh, hi, Bilal. This is Frenchy from Miku, China. And uh, congratulations on reaching another career high. Thank you. And uh, speaking of Olympics, uh, how has your experience competing with the French national team this summer laid the foundation for your girls this season? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, learned a lot this summer. Uh, it was really special. Uh, the Olympics, man, we came back with a medal too. So, uh, yeah, I learned a lot uh, near to, you know, Nicholas Baton, who's been texting me and uh, still texting me. And, uh, um, yeah, all the guys, you know, Rudy, uh, all of them, all of them great guys, you know, they taught me a lot this summer. And, uh, yeah, came back, uh, put the work in, and uh, felt good now and confident. Can I talk about my all around play? Uh, like you said, I scored, I passed, I rebounded. I think I did those things well. It helped us win today. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, you can go. Go ahead. Okay, so first off, uh, Felix Bassett from WBGR. I want to say congratulations. You guys knocked off, you know, a playoff team twice in a row. So obviously congratulations to that. And also I wanted to say how much do you th – what do you think changed in the psychology of the team, the psyche of the team between the first and second half? And secondly, how much do you think practice impacted that? Yeah, uh, the halftime adjustment was really just buy into what we do. You know, I felt like we were playing pretty frantically, weren't kind of playing our brand of basketball. And uh, like I said, the message at halftime was just be us, you know, lock in on the defensive end and things will open up offensively. And to tie into your next question, that's kind of all we've been practicing as well. You know, just trying to game plan, scheme against teams, how we're going to guard them. You know, we're a big defensive team. So, uh, 
really just kind of cleaning up the defensive end, letting letting that open up our offense. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Hey, Bob, were you aware that you led the rookie class in scoring coming into the game? I would, no, I was <laughs> told like five minutes ago. <laughs> well, uh, you doubled your average tonight with 16, so you obviously were feeding off of your teammates. Can you talk about if any teammates specifically were really – conducive to you scoring like you did tonight um really uh our bigs um you know in the ball screens you know and uh passing like all of our bigs are really good at that and then uh jp as well i think he had maybe like seven or eight assists and i don't know if any of them were necessarily to me but he definitely his passing definitely opened up the floor a lot uh like i said his ability kind of just to get by someone and create for others is really uh underrated and Bilal put up a career high 27 tonight can you just speak on his performance and what you saw oh yeah Bilal is, Bilal is amazing man he uh he has an unbelievable mindset unbelievable mentality uh he's always on go he's always ready you know for the action and uh good things are gonna happen for him you know when he just keeps his head down it seemed like in the second half that you got more comfortable you started to initiate the offense a little bit more is that how you felt on the floor yeah yeah I definitely feel myself kind of adjusting uh, in the right direction as the game goes on as the games go on as minutes go on i feel like i'm definitely learning and learning and learning and kind of getting more comfortable uh, with every game where do you feel that comfort most where uh like where in your game do you feel it most do you feel it when you're driving oh yeah, yeah uh i would really say kind of like when the ball's in my hands like i said like you mentioned earlier like initiating the offense like i kind of just feel comfortable naturally just table setting if that makes sense and then there were a couple times today where you took some hard fouls, got up, very fiery. What was what were you thinking during those moments? And uh, what is the mentality you bring to that kind of situation do for a team? What was I thinking? Uh, I wasn't really thinking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, mentality, you know, just kind of just that mentality, like we're going to bring it. You know, like a lot of – like obviously like, people know, like um, people had to kind of have that thought on what the Wizards are going to be and what the Wizards basketball is. And I'm trying to – bring a mentality to where you guys are wrong, you know, come in just to prove people wrong and prove that we're not a team to just look over. What do you want the Wizards mentality to be? Something we play tough, relentless, and uh, we have fun at the end of the day. Bob, in the, in the moment, do you let yourself think about the future when you see that you start alongside Keyshawn and Alex and Bilal, all people who are also 19 and, and 20? Yeah, uh, we. Uh, one of our coaches actually brought mentioned it today uh, in a shoot around earlier, and they were like, uh, "We're starting a lineup where a lot of you can't drink," <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, it was kind of like just mind boggling to me. They're like, "Yeah, we're in the NBA, and they got uh, a really young group." And I kind of like like you mentioned, uh, it kind of brought me to think about the future and like if we stay with it, you know, stay at it, like we could. We could be like a really good group that kind of grows up with each other. And to that point, how gratifying or rewarding is it to see early results? Um, game four, NBA regular season game four for all of you. Yeah, it, it means a lot. You know, Bilal getting career highs, you know, Keyshawn, Alice getting more comfortable. You know, everyone, like it means a lot to see that like we're young. We're on a, a, like I said, a team that might be overlooked a lot, but like we're still producing, we're still finding a way to win games. Like it, it means a lot, and you, you really think about it.